So, you want to be a Jujutsu Sorcerer? Well, you've come to the right place. I am Professor Jameson, and I will be happy to explain to you what you need to become a successful sorcerer. Be Before the class begins, I just need some compensation for the lesson. All you need to do is hit the like button and subscribe. Once you do that, you can proceed with the lesson. There are several paths that you can take in the world of Jujutsu Sorcery. No matter which one you take, the bare minimum to be a sorcerer is to have the ability to see cursed spirits although there are some rare exceptions to this requirement. It is preferable for a sorcerer to possess high levels of cursed energy, a power source that comes from the negative emotions of humanity, or be born with the talent to use cursed techniques, which are abilities sorcerers can use with their cursed energy. These techniques compose of over 80% of a sorcerer's skill set. But professor, what if my techniques aren't super strong? Well, you have no reason to fear. If your techniques are not suitable for combat, then you are best suited for a supportive role. Non-combative sorcerers are just as valuable to the world of sorcery as combative ones. If you don't have high levels of cursed energy or cursed techniques, don't worry because you can still be a successful sorcerer. Having knowledge of barrier techniques, cursed tools, and knowing the ins and outs of cursed energy can make you a professional sorcerer as well. Once a sorcerer, you are given a grade based on your skill level. The grade begins from grade 4 and goes all the way to special grade. In order to get promoted, you need the recommendation of a sorcerer a grade above you and the approval of a Jujutsu higher-up. The grade that you're given determines the difficulty of the missions assigned to you, but also determines how much you get paid as well. So. You receive missions from one of two facilities in either Tokyo or Kyoto. These facilities are generally the home base for sorcerers, but also are schools where young sorcerers are taught about jujutsu and how to exercise cursed spirits. They are considered the cornerstone of the community and led by the principal who is under the jujutsu hierarchs. The missions as a sorcerer range from investigating curse-related deaths and disappearances, eliminating curse users, or you are sent to require special grade curse objects that are just too strong to destroy, so you have to store them away. At all times, a sorcerer must abide by the strict regulations of the Jujutsu Society called the Memorandum Regarding Obligations of Jujutsu Sorcery. This memorandum is split up into nine sections that go into details of the responsibilities of sorcerers to prevent catastrophes and ensure peace and prosperity for non-sorcerers uh, over the world. Sorcerers who fail to follow these regulations are subject to serious consequences, which such as being sentenced to death, labeled as a cursed user, or even sealed if you're dangerous enough. That's no good. There are some drawbacks to the life of a Jujutsu Sorcerer. It is extremely demanding and requires you to face constantly face fear-inducing curses and risk your life on a daily basis. Uh, you literally have to be insane to be one. Uh, because of this difficult path, most Sorcerers detach themselves from society and genuine compassion for others. So if you feel like you're becoming like this, you know, talk to a friend and so on and so forth. Stop it. Get some help. So, I hope that helped you understand what it takes to be a Jujutsu Sorcerer. Uh, if you uh, understood it and this, you found this very helpful, please like the video and subscribe and share with everybody that wants to be one. Uh, good luck out there and thanks for watching. Bye.